Hey guys, Michael here. Um, <clears throat> beautiful day today, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I, can you hear the lawnmowers? I love this. I love this kind of weather. Lawnmowers and uh, it's just another Pleasant Valley Saturday. Um, well, another holiday park Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> real quick, uh, RSD update. Um, as, uh, as some of you know, I had gone to um, uh, my local record store on RSD and uh, there were two things in particular that I really wanted and they didn't have them. I wasn't at all surprised. Um, but I was in Lawrence last weekend and um, I did stop at Love Garden, which is far and away, I think, the best record store in easy driving distance. Um, uh, and uh, I, I, I struggled. Um, and I also picked up an extra thing, so I'll show you that too. Um, Pixies Trompe Le Monde. This is the 2009 re reissue on uh, 4AD. Um, basically looks exactly like the original uh, with the exception that it is on 180 gram vinyl. Um, <clears throat> I have this on CD uh, and have always had it on CD since it came out. It was not issued on vinyl in the United States or in North America uh, when it came out. It was, I think, only issued in Great Britain and maybe Europe. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was also in Europe. Um, this didn't sound as punchy to me as um, the uh, as as the CD, but I, it might be due to the fact that I was playing it at a, at a pretty low volume. Um, you know, I don't have a soundproof department. Um, but it, it completes my Pixies album collection on vinyl. Um, I'd still like to have a, a first press of it. Uh, all my other Pixie albums are first press that I bought when they came out as first presses. Um, and then when this came out, you know, it was available as a CD, and by then I was kind of already switching over into CDs anyway. Um, I, I also, I do not have the, uh, I have like one 12 inch single and one 7 inch single uh, on vinyl, and uh, most of the singles on uh, CD, plus a bunch of other Pixie CD stuff, but the man who's got the collection Dan Gordon, you should show your collection. I know you don't make many videos. I think you've made two, uh, maybe, uh, but make some more. Uh, but that, was, that wasn't the RSD stuff. Here's the RSD stuff. The first one is Reckless Eric, Le Beat Group Electrique. Um, I love this guy. First of all, he is so genuine and real, humorous, somewhat self-depreciating. Um, his his original uh, records were released on Stiff Records back in the uh, late 70s, um, and he was kind of lumped in with punk. Um, I I really think that he's a lot different than than punk in general. Although there's certainly a, 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 a punk kind of approach, but. Um, there's just a more heartfelt and um, a positive sort of thing uh, with a lot of his music. This is a great album. He tells a story about it on his um, uh, his blog, Eric Land, uh, which I will put a link to, and about how he had left Stiff and uh, was with um, uh, New Rose. Uh, I think it was. Uh, anyway, pretty funny, uh, as as is much of his stuff. Uh, there are this is on Fire Records, and there are um, two other albums already reissued on Fire Records. Both of his albums, uh, Reckless Eric presents uh, the Len Bright Combo, and Len Bright Combo, it's Combo Time, and which I really want. I really want. I have those 
um, but not on vinyl, and I really want them. And also, this week, Tuesday or Monday or whenever it is that they release things in the UK, because these are UK, this is a UK label, um, they are releasing the Donovan of Trash. Um, and I'm very excited about that coming out. They're really reasonably priced. My problem is ordering them from the UK. The shipping is just incredibly expensive. Um, maybe if I can pay down my credit card enough, I can order all three and save a little bit with the shipping. Or maybe I can find somebody in the U.S. who's selling them. Um, love this guy. Uh, pretty much love everything that he's recorded. He uh, has also released albums with his uh, partner, Amy Rigby. Um, and uh, my second favorite song by Reckless Eric after... Uh, of course, everybody, I think, pretty much, if you know Reckless Eric, you know the song Go All, All Over the World. Um, but uh, he, di he did a song with uh, Amy Rigby on one of the albums they put out together called Please Be Kind to Her. Please Be Nice to Her. I love that song as a, as a dad. I totally, totally love that song. Um, great guy. Uh, <laughs> great musician. Uh, just I, thrilled to have at least this, and, and I have a I have a stiff compilation that has the one song that I paid twice what I should have simply because it had "Please Be Nice to Her" or no, it had "Go All Over the World" on it. The other thing I really wanted when I saw it was coming out, I thought, "Ooh," and that's this. This is a box set, uh, half Japanese, volume one, 1981 through 1985, also reissued on Fire Records. Comes with a download code. Um, each, uh, it's in a slip cover, and I would say that the slip case is uh, my only negative comment about, about it in any way, uh, and that's simply because it's on pretty much the same weight of stock as an album cover um, and uh, my experience with other slip covers that I have like this for example the Amy or, or Amy, Amy Grant uh, <laughs> now I'm going blank on her name um, Laurie Anderson uh, five record set of uh, the United States live I think that's the name of it um, it's the it's the whole thing out of which the uh, album Big Science more or less is extracted. Um, uh, that they, they this is probably going to end up just falling apart and, and and being in terrible condition relatively quickly. I, I've got it in the shrink wrap and maybe if I could find something else to wrap around it and maybe root. But I'm going to show you this covers real quick. Um, they are, these are the first three albums that Half Japanese ever put out, and albums I had not ever heard. Um, I, I, I kind of stumbled upon them or, or discovered their music um, uh, it, in the later 80s when they were putting out a couple of albums on 50 gazillion watts. Uh, their slogan, 50 gazillion watts in the hands of babes. It was a label that um, was uh, uh, owned and run by um, Penn Gillette. Um, anyway, I had never heard these until I got them, and they are incredible. They are really great. I'm not sure if they were remastered. I think maybe they were, but I'm not not sure. I don't, don't recall. Um, these are the... Oh, the inner sleeves are all uh, reproductions of the original inner sleeves. The covers, the outer sleeves are, are also facsimiles of the original outer sleeves. They, they didn't change the artwork for them in any way that I know, other than that the labels are, I do believe, different. This, incidentally, this is artwork by David Fair. Um, and very similar to, I, I've shown uh, some artwork by David Fair uh, when I was doing a thing about the duplex planet. Um, David Fair and Jad Fair are uh, good friends with David Greenberger. It also comes with a wonderful little booklet, oh, several pages long. I, 
I guess it's okay to, with me that it's this way. Actually, it's kind of cool because when I download these, I will burn them on, onto three CDs, and then I can use this as the cover for the first volume of it. Um, I guess, or maybe I'll keep it in there. I don't know. Um, it, uh, it's it's basically just an essay by uh, David Fair, which he wrote in December of 2013 talking about it. Interestingly enough, one of the things he uses about it, and those who know me, and there are a few people who do, uh, ha, uh, know know me well enough to know that I have talked about the music of Jad Fair in the past and described it, among other things, as being pure and direct. And it's kind of interesting because David Fair uses almost those exact words. He does use the word pure uh, when he's talking about half Japanese and what it was they were out to do. Um, another little interesting bit of um, information about half Japanese, uh, they have signed with uh, the label Joyful Noise, and which I'm going to mention again in a minute, uh, but and are, have a new album out, and there is a, a single out already that's just gorgeous. I, I'm really thinking I'm going to put an order in today for it. It's not that much, $10 plus postage or something. I don't have much else by them anymore. I no longer have my half Japanese albums. I uh, neglected to grab my Mo Tucker album, which is on 50 gazillion watts um, and includes Jad Fair. He, he played with Mo Tucker on that and, and plays with Mo Tucker on other stuff too, I believe. Um, Mo Tucker, if you're not familiar with the name, was the drummer uh, in the Velvet Underground. Um, but I do have a few other things by Jad. Um, and uh, the the first I'll show you is a commercially produced CD uh, on alternative tentacles, Jad Fair and Jason Willett. Uh, the album is called Enjoyable Songs, and they are. Uh, it says on the back, play this as loud as you can and rock out. Tell Grandma to put her teeth in. It's time for a party. 35 super fine songs to make your heart smile. And I absolutely and 100% agree with that. Uh, when did this come out? Let's see if there's a date for it. Alternative tentacles, so no. <laughs> At least not one that I'm not going to take the time to look for it now. These are CDRs um, that I I bought. I bought this uh, through our Stevie Morris Bandcamp page. I would love to find the an original of this. I'm pretty sure it was at one time in print, or, uh, but I think it was always a CD. Um, be awesome to have it on vinyl, though, wouldn't it? Uh, Jad Fair and R. Stevie Moore Fairmore, and it's a it's a collection. It's ba essentially uh, a collaboration, and is a great album. I absolutely love this album. It's it's really really good. I recommend it. Go to Bandcamp, buy it, download it. Um, then I have this, which is a CDR that I got through David Greenberger. This is now available, uh, it has been released as an official imprint uh, CD on, I think it's called Thick Syrup Label. Um, the, it is titled uh, Sit, Boy Girl, Boy Girl. And it is, it is uh, live at the Duplex Nursing Home, July 5th, 1982. Features Jad Fair on vocals, Mark Jicklings on guitar, bass, and vocals, and David Fair on drums. Uh, one of the residents, Francis McElroy, uh, pop, hops in with some vocals and harmonica. harmonica. Many of these songs are covers. Uh, uh, Route 66, uh, Froggy Went a Courtin', by God. Uh, the Tracks of My Tears, The Midnight Hour, Jambalaya. Now, if you know, and, and it, this is sort of talked about in this album, in this uh, box set, um, yeah, they use the lyrics. Uh, that's about as close as they get to really covering. They, they're doing, these are utterly different than the originals. Uh, but this is a, a real summertime blues, um, you know, uh, Hound Dog, uh, All Shook Up, and, and some other stuff. Really great. Uh, you can get this through, I believe, you can order this through uh, the Duplex Planet website. Um, and then last of all, 
I mentioned Joyful Noise. Um, Jad Fair is artist in residence with Joyful Noise record label this year. And um, I have uh, subscribed to a four album subscription that they're doing. Um, the, uh, all four albums will be issued quarterly. And then they're, they're going to be housed in a wooden slip case with a hand silk screened um, artwork by Jad. Uh, very excited. All the album covers will have uh, original artwork by Jed as well. And each one of them is a collaboration of some sorts. And this is the first one. Um, I haven't received the vinyl yet. I should get it sometime this month. Um, I'm not sure how good they are about getting these things out on time and what have you. But they said it was coming out this month. Um, and so it should be in the mail pretty soon. Um, this is Jad Fair and Strobe Talbot, uh, which is was a, a band. Basically, it was a three-piece band. Um, and I once again, I forgot, even though I knew I wasn't going to remember this, I forgot to look up who the other uh, members are. I do know that one of the members of Strobe Talbot is Bemba Gallagher. And uh, he is a wonderful guy in and of himself and has done a lot of stuff with Jason Willett uh, and um, as... Um, Jaunty, I believe, is one of the names, or the Jaunties, and also uh, Robot Attitude, uh, and I think Jason Wells involved with the, both of those, and I do know that they've been kind of going through those things, but I'm talking about this right now. Um, uh, there is a Strobe Talbot album uh, on Alternative Tentacles. This was the second album that they made, and it, they made it some 10 years ago. I think, and it, but immediately after this was made, both of the other members, Jad Fair, not, I'm not referring to him, but the other members both uh, became seriously ill, one with cancer, and then Bemba with, um, I don't remember what to call it right now, uh, but very debilitating disease that, or condition perhaps is a better word that only recently has he been able to break out his drums again. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I had heard this album sometime before because Bemba had sent it to me with Jad's blessing. Uh, we were trying to think of a way to get it out, and then this happened. And um, I do know that one of the other collabs on this is going to be with our Stevie Moore. Whether it will be Fairmore or another album, I don't know. I do know that um, Jad and Stevie um, did get together or somehow, yeah, I think they got together physically in the same studio or maybe they did it another way, but they were doing a thing of covers. And uh, I asked Stevie if that was the album that was going to be in this and he never answered. So I don't know. Um, but either way, I'm looking forward to that. And then the other two, I don't recall right now what they are. So that's it, uh, my, uh, my real brief Jad Fair half Japanese um, yap and, uh, and my um, final RSD update. RSD turned out to be really great for me. Next year, I'm going to Lawrence and I'll be there when they open the doors because I, I, they just do a better job than my local store. I'm sorry to say that, but it is true. Have a great day. It's all about the music, right?